103.7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. Okay, welcome in, everybody. It is Election Day, Tuesday, May 6th. And, hey, tomorrow here on the program, we'll actually have some programming instead of political commercials. So, t- <laughs> You act like so, you mind the political so t- commercials. I have a, a very close friend who I'm not going to call his name, Chairman Blunt. And uh, he, <laughs> he called me yesterday and said... Uh, I'm looking for one person in this world that really has enjoyed all those political radio commercials. <laughs> I said, well, you found him. <laughs> you found him. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been intense, and we realize that. And thank you for staying with us through all the uh, advertising. <laughs> but today is it. It's over today. Unless there's a runoff, we could have, a, uh, could have at least one runoff in the uh, state Senate. U.S. Senate race between Tom Tillis and I'm thinking it'll be Greg Brannon, but after yesterday's showing in Charlotte where uh, they bring in Rand Paul to be Greg Brannon's uh, big get, his big endorser, and they have they do it at the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte. 100 people show They up. have 100 people that, that's show That's <laughs> surprising. That's very surprising. <laughs> Can you imagine if – I mean, I remember when Ron Paul came. And Ron Paul, of course, is not nearly the su- the conservative superstar now that Rand Paul, his son, is. We had 600 people in the convention yeah. center, I think, for Walter mm-hmm. Jones that night. Uh, so I, I just think it's kind of indicative of the fact that that uh, no one has caught fire in that race. And and I, you know, I didn't get to finish my point there a minute ago when Tom was on the phone. We're going to get Tom Lamprick back here shortly to do a little more political analysis as we head into the uh, polls today, but. Uh, the the other thing that strikes me is, um, you know, if you if you go back two and a half weeks ago, Tom Tillis was polling at like eighteen percent. He needs forty percent to avoid a runoff. Eighteen percent two and a half weeks ago, and then um, now he's up. One poll showed him at forty six percent. You know, I think that I think it's kind of indicative of the fact that people generally. We, we in the business watch this very closely from day one, but most people who are voters, they stay undecided until yep. they've got to decide. That's right. Yep. And and I think that, uh, I will say this, I think that Tom Tillis' advertising has been very effective. I think the most effective television ad that I've seen in this campaign was the Tom Tillis ad with him sitting on the front porch steps, just him looking into the camera and talking about what is conservative because Greg Brandon and Mark Harris keep hammering him away on the fact that he's not conservative enough. And he, and the, the great line in that commercial is um, uh, being conservative is not something you say, it's something you do. And he talks about what he's done and what he did in the legislative session last year. And, you know, I've been saying that all along as, you know, people who say uh, Tom Tillis is not conservative enough. I mean, he oversaw the largest right turn in the history of the state legislature last year. So what is not conservative enough? And I, you know, I, 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 I am stopping short of predicting that he will avoid a runoff, but it sure looks like he's got a chance now, whereas two weeks ago I thought there was no way on God's green earth. That is a big jump in two weeks. That he was going to do it. I think that TV ad and some of his other – he finally got on radio advertising. And uh, I think the debates, if anybody paid attention, which they probably didn't, they – probably helped him as well. Mark Harris is actually very smooth in the debates. I was actually impressed with Mark Harris. Brandon is awkward. He's just, he doesn't, he's not comfortable. He doesn't make you look, feel comfortable. He's, it's just, it's just kind of an awkward thing. So I, I, again, I don't, I think that's why neither one of those guys have caught fire. Neither, and neither one of them have had any money either. They haven't had the budget. So that's one of the big stories today. The other big story, of course, uh, locally is uh, the congressional race between Walter Jones and Taylor Griffin. And the uh, million three or so that's been spent on trying to beat Walter Jones, and uh, is it going to work? Is this uh, is this finally going to be the uh, time that Walter gets taken out? I, How I, long is Walter? I, I, Eighteen years. I do not believe it personally. I, I still believe that. I, I I sense that even though 
there has been a lot of advertising and more negative advertising than we've seen, I still have a hard time believing that Walter will lose. But I, but we'll see. You know, yeah. I, I, I am not a hundred percent confident. I, I don't know. I'm, I, when I get Tom back, I'm going to ask him what he, what effect he thinks the Sarah Palin endorsement had, and um, we'll talk about that. Now we have full election coverage tonight. Uh, starting at 7 o'clock tonight, we will be live uh, here in the studio tonight at 7 o'clock. And here's the way it will work. You'll be able to hear it on 103.7 and our sister station down toward the coast on 94.1 WNBU, which is a uh, uh, 25,000 watt FM station heard in Newburn, Jacksonville, and Moorhead City. You'll be able to hear it down there. We'll be live here in this studio covering races all over the eastern part of the state. For those two radio stations, we will be on the air about 20 minutes an hour. Beyond that, you will hear coverage from Raleigh from my, my buddy Donna Martinez at the North Carolina Network tonight. Uh, Donna's going to have a panel of, um, of folks in there. I think John Hood may be with her tonight. I know uh, um, I can't remember who she told me was going to be with her tonight, but but I'll be uh, reporting on the uh, on the statewide network as well tonight on races from the eastern part of the state. They're particularly interested in the uh, in the races here. They told me between uh, Walter Jones and uh, Taylor Griffin, also the Brian Brown Ashley Blue race, and the other big big race. There are two huge sheriff's races in eastern North Carolina. Yeah. One is Beaufort County, the other which one you're is going to report on in Lenore County. Well, I didn't, actually, I don't know anything about that one. Is there a big one? I'm talking about Onslow oh, County. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The one in Onslow, Onslow County has been a Dateline episode. Yeah. That one's crazy. Have you followed that at all? Uh, not a whole lot. The uh, the sheriff down there, Ed Brown, who, you know, he, he became a... Uh, yeah, he's been down there a while. 24 years, yeah. I believe. And, of course, he became a national... He, he was on all the national TV shows when the when the, the uh, yeah what was the, uh, the Cesar the Lorian yeah, the Cesar Lorian Cesar case, Lorian yeah. case where the the uh, the the Marine it, it down seemed there like murdered he was his on, wife he was on CNN and CNBC and everywhere like nightly and he took one of the, what what do you call those divining rods he was walking around in the backyard yeah. with a divining rod trying to find the body that was the first bizarre thing that he did but he's done a lot of other bizarre things but this this if you haven't followed this race. The um, there's a there's a lifelong FBI career FBI guy by the name of Hans Miller running against the sheriff in Oslo County. Well, the sheriff <laughs> in the middle of the campaign started accusing Hans Miller of criminal activity, and um, you know the 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 word on on Brown has been that he's been very heavy handed over the years, and uh, you know he's put some things on his website that make it sound like. He really doesn't understand the job of the sheriff. I think he thinks he's got more power than he really has. It's almost like something from 1948, the way the sheriffs used to run the counties. Right. Well, it, it prompted the district attorney in Onslow County to actually stand up and have a press conference last week and say, there is no criminal activity. I've investigated the activity on uh, Hans Miller, the opponent to the sheriff, and people can feel assured that there is no criminal activity here. What he, the, the sheriff, you, you might remember the, uh, the, the kid, the 18 year old kid, 18 or 19 year old kid down in Onslow County who had been charged with calling in 18 bomb threats. Yes. Yeah, we had that on the, on the news. Well, the, the sheriff accused his opponent of putting that kid up to the bomb threats. I do remember that. Which yeah. is nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. And see, we usually don't report on bomb threats for obvious reasons. Yeah. But when they're 18 by one person and it becomes a, a story like that, those are the ones that – and I remember recently us doing the, that story on those bomb threats. Well, and the other question that, you know, you start to wonder, the kid is in jail down there, and, you know, he's got to be tried. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, there's a lot of questions now about the, the sheriff's – the way the sheriff has dealt with this and uh, – I mean, literally, it, it, it is like a Dateline episode. I've kind of followed it because our Jacksonville morning show down there has been all, all over it. In fact, Rayford Brown, who is uh, a former WITN yep. reporter, former news director for the NBC affiliate in Wilmington, is our morning man down on 96.3 in Jacksonville. And he will be doing some live reports for us tonight uh, between the 7 and 9 on our election coverage tonight. So tune in tonight. 
7 o'clock. Now, if you're watching on K- – if you want to turn over on cable TV – Full coverage, wall-to-wall, will be with you for the full hour starting at 7 o'clock all the way through uh, probably like 10 o'clock tonight is what I'm thinking when the races are decided. And, um, you know, you can turn on Cable 7. in the During the time that we're doing local coverage, we'll be here live on camera. And then uh, during the time that we are with the uh, folks in Raleigh, on the North Carolina network, uh, you'll be able to hear the audio of that on cable seven. So, uh, that is coming up tonight, starting at seven o'clock again, about 40 minutes, an hour, uh, of the coverage coming out of Raleigh from the North Carolina network. And then about 20 minutes or so, Tom Lamprecht and I live here in the studio tonight to give you full coverage of the elections. Hey, the, the other, there's other news. Did you see Scotty McCreary? Yeah. He had his gunpoint. Yeah. It was a home invasion. He and his friends were, now, you know, I that did is, see that. That's on our website at WIT.com Two or three things. Well. Uh, number one, the News Observer immediately uh, wrote a story when this came out and, and gave the address of Scotty McCreary's apartment. And yeah. I was thinking, that might not have been cool. <laughs> That might not, but he lives just off campus at NC State. With yeah, two, but with that's, two, you know, that's... Just like every other college kid, he's living with two other guys yeah, in an apartment. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. It's pro- and it's not he's, Clay you know, Aiken or Ruben Stutter. You know what? But he's been very – Scotty McCreary has been very good about that at, at being a college student. You know, you see him at Wolfpack basketball games. You see him at sporting events kind of with the student section. Being, and I think that's part of, of, you know, what he wanted to do when he wanted to go to college. You know, there was talk about him coming to East Carolina at he one point. He actually applied and got accepted here, but I think it was just kind of a – I think he always wanted to go to state. Yeah, he grew up yeah. a state he's, fan, he, living yeah, in Garner. Right, right. You grew um, up in Garner, you're going to be a state fan. Yeah, but, you know, he wants to be as much of a college student as he can. And and I think for for the most part, he's he's doing pretty well as far as, you know, blending in with the college atmosphere. You know, the folks up there aren't as starstruck as you would think with Scotty McCreary there. Uh, but, yeah, just living, uh, you know, in a, an apartment with a couple guys, and next thing you know, they get robbed. Here is uh, the report that was on WTVD last night. Larry Stogner is the uh, anchor guy. If you haven't heard the story, here is the ABC affiliate in uh, in Raleigh last night uh, doing the story on Scotty McCreary's robbery. A 911 caller says McCreary and his friends were made to lie face down with guns to their heads as they were robbed early this morning. American Idol winner Scotty McCreary taking to Twitter to talk about being held up at his friend's house at gunpoint, saying it was definitely a really scary night Luckily, my friends and I are safe, and Raleigh PD is on the case. Six men, were told, were robbed at gunpoint. You heard running up the stairs. They must have just opened the door. It must have been unlocked, and all you heard was yelling, like, who are you? What are you doing here? 911 calls described the chaos. We got robbed. They were just like, get down. Everybody on the floor. Like, just give us everything you got. I think they they were pretty much safe down on the floor. It was quiet for a little bit, like a good two, three minutes. And then all I heard was like one, two, three, like counting real slow. And then I heard people running down the stairs. Wallets, laptops, and Xbox and cell phones were all stolen. But again, luckily no one was hurt tonight. And anyone with information is asked to call Raleigh Police. So there was the uh, WTVD TV, the ABC affiliate in uh, Raleigh and Durham last night doing their story about Scotty McCreary getting robbed. Such a scary situation. You wonder if... They said the door was unlocked, by the way. Yeah. Did they say what time it was? No. You know, which is... That's not unusual. You know, because I remember in college, I I don't think we ever locked the door in our dorms or in apartments and things. That was in the 60s, Billy. Yeah. (laughs) It feels like it. It feels like it. Um, yeah, but you, you got to wonder if they knew exactly, Scotty McCreary. Exactly. I, I mean, is was it a target thing? I bet you they did. Or I, you know what? Maybe not because with from what it sounds like, what they got away with wallets, Xbox, things like that. You would think they would if if they knew it was Scotty McCreary, they would be thinking a little bigger. Maybe more money, more or kidnap. Oh, absolutely. Heaven forbid. Yeah, but uh, you would think, or maybe they would have thought that he had more money on him because he's yeah. you know, a celebrity. Now, and- now let me ask you a question: If you're Scotty McCreary and Scotty McCreary's parents and his handlers, his agents, and all that, yeah. 
how do you react to this now? I mean, I think I got to up the security a little bit, yeah, right? But I'm but, getting him out of that apartment. I'm getting him into something else where he can be. I, I'm probably getting him a security guy. Well, I mean, I think as a parent, period. Yeah, you're thinking that even if it's not but Scotty this guy, McCurry, this guy's but an, this guy's an international he is, superstar. He is, now. but like I said, he wants to be a college student, and I yeah. think that's very important to him. So I think, I think, ultimately, I think we it comes now down see to, why it might not be possible. Yeah. You know? I don't well, know. and you got to you got to wonder if they even knew that it was Scotty McCurry. They might not have, but and, you know, see, I'll tell you, I'm think, I you just think a about a home feeling. invasion with a bunch of college kids. You know, you generally what you're going to get is uh, Bud Lights and pizza. Well, but the, but if you know if you know Scotty McCreary lives Xbox, there, well, they, they, you, you get know, the Xbox. But I mean, what's that worth? Well, is this, that worth this, going to prison for? You, you know? got to remember what you're dealing with. Well, that's you're true. dealing you're dealing Not with folks surgeons. that that steal tennis shoes. Yeah, you know, right. I mean, I I would never rob someone at gunpoint for their tennis shoes, but it happens. That's a good point. That's a good point. This was an interesting. Uh, I, I get these little uh, fun facts that are emailed to me every day. Listen to that. Don't look at this. Just tell, okay. just tell me this. Just give me a general guess of how much money is spent on Amazon.com per minute. Per minute. Now, if you think this is not a problem, and, and, and the, the, there's a lot of implications here. Number one, sales taxes. Right. You know, and now some of these sites have, I don't know if Amazon, maybe they're maybe they're they're charging sales tax now, but think about how much money is now being spent. I know the state uh, government uh, folks are are wrestling right now with the fact the uh, the budget director Art Pope and the governor and uh, all the uh, the cabinet is wrestling with trying to put a budget together because we are hearing that upwards of uh, th 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 that the revenue projections have come in much less, much less than they anticipated. Everybody thinks the economy's back. We had the um, we had the uh, um, uh, Randy Parker, the economist from East Carolina, on on Friday. He was talking about how we had 0 0.1 percent growth in first quarter. How the economy's still very sluggish and slow, and you know uh, that affects the amount of retail sales and therefore sales taxes. But how much are we missing because money is being spent online and these companies are not charging sales tax? Now, some of them are being made to, and Amazon might be one, but when I saw this number, it really hit me as, you've got to be kidding. Here's how much money is being spent let me guess. per minute let me guess. on Amazon. Billy, guess how much money per minute is spent on Amazon.com? Quarter of a million, 250000 it's not that much. Coach, take a guess. 30000 30000 Michael. I went high because I figured with the... $102,000. Yeah, I would say Michael's the... $83,000 per minute. Wow. Per minute. I can't even do the math on what that, how much money they make in no. a day. Mm -mm. I'd have to... And, and the thing about that... Take a minute to do They don't this. close. They're open 24 hours, seven 24, days a week, 365, yeah. $83,000 per minute Wow. on Amazon.com. No wonder. Did you see that story they did on 60 Minutes about that the, a couple of months ago? About the, the way that they do, it's really, it's pretty outstanding, actually. By the way, speaking of 60 Minutes, did anybody see the Leslie Stahl uh, the Leslie Stahl uh, uh, report on 60 Minutes on Sunday night about the, peop the people in the study who were 90 years old and older. Mm -mm. I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was really they, You know, there's a study that's going on in California. They found these files of these people that moved into this retirement home in, La in the Laguna Beach area of California in 1981, and they're still there. And uh, a lot of them are still alive, and they've, they're doing a research study on the ones that are still alive because they had data on them in 1981, and now they've got data from 2014. They moved in there in 81. They're still there. At, at what, two, are, what are they studying? They're, they're studying, studying diet, basically they, everything. Yeah. They studied their alcohol consumption, their diet, the, even their, their sexual activity. It was really, hmm. really interesting Really, actually, the old man said that uh, he says they didn't ask me about my sex life, but they, he wanted them to, <laughs> and so that's what that was. But you know, here's the thing that you know, I just, I thought it was really interesting. People who are who are overweight have lived longer. 
Really? People who drink have lived longer. I'm telling you, my people, my grandmother. People, I bet, but you know, not now, now. And when I say drink, they're talking about. Uh, they were talking about like a Social glass vessels. or two of right. wine a day. Or now, something a glass like of wine now, a day hard is supposed to be good for They didn't you. say, yeah, right. That's right. But you know, the question yeah, if about you're falling whether down or not dead drunk nightly, you're you're not. You doing know, well. every, the question about whether a glass of red wine is good for you or not. Basically, it it sounds like it is. Ca- caffeine, coffee. People who drink three cups of coffee a day live longer. And I was thinking, baby, I am in the money. <laughs> <laughs> I fall into all those categories. But you know, you know, you know, the AMA or somebody was watching that report oh, yeah. going, "Oh my God, everything we've been telling people that they're not going to believe it now," because they, they talked about the fact that if you were underweight versus overweight, that you had a better chance of a longer life. I don't know. You know, Henry, I just think there's a time for everybody. I think when your time is probably up, so. your time is up, and probably so. You know, I was writing this thing online last night because we went to my uh, four and a half year old, almost five year old, now my my grandson's uh, first t ball game, and my wife and I were walking back to the car. And you know, when you get to this age, you start thinking like this. We were walking back to the car last night. We had a great time. You know, he's uh, he's 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 four and a half years old, so you know he doesn't care about winning. They, they're just out there having a great time. You know, some of them are picking the day, you know, picking the clover off the the ground. Oh yeah. But but it was really funny as we were walking back to the car last night. It was it was one of those aha moments for a granddad because I said to my wife, I'm like, this is the first night of how many years that we'll be coming to the rec league right. fields because we've got two grandchildren now, probably more down the road. And uh, and and then I just, and then I and the minute I said that I said to my wife you know it hit me that I'm like I hope that yeah. I'll, I'll be able to yeah. come for many years <laughs> you don't know but uh, you know it, it you know your, your mortality begins to start creeping into your brain at this age a little bit and you start thinking well you know will I get to see him play Babe Ruth will I get to see him you know whatever so. and you know what that's what keeps a lot of older folks going a lot of times to say hey you know I want to see my my kid go through t-ball and then or my grand child i want to see my grandchild graduate from high school that's where then i, I want to see my grandchild graduate yeah. from college i want to see my grandchild get married that's why i'm going to the gym this morning there you go it's 20 <laughs> i go i go because i have by, a 15 by the, by year old way, daughter by the yeah, exactly <laughs> by the way the the uh people that exercise also live longer so don't don't that that one was not dispelled yeah yeah all right 26 after we'll come back billy's got news headlines we're going to uh, do more Election Day analysis. It is uh, May 6th, Election Day. If you have not voted today, if you are registered, get out and vote, but make sure you go to your precinct. People are confused. Do not go to the early voting sites if you, as Dave Davis said yesterday, if you uh, if you actually vote on a provisional ballot, it may not be counted. So you can go to that website, the State Board of Elections website, and find out where you're supposed to go if you're not sure. It's S-B- uh, I'm sorry, N-C-S-B-E. Dot gov, North Carolina State Board of Elections, ncsbe.gov. All right, we'll be right back. You don't have to be a professional golfer to enjoy giving to a great cause. Come out and join us Friday, June 6th at the Ironwood Country Club for the fifth annual McAtack Golf Tournament, presented by the Junior Women's Association of Greenville. All of the proceeds go directly towards providing support for families of the two Ron McDonald houses right here in Greenville. Visit our official website or like us on Facebook to find out how you can participate in the event that's both fun and rewarding. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Football fans, see the tradition, the excitement, the hard-hitting action this fall in Dowdy Pickland Stadium as the Pirates kick off their inaugural season in the American Athletic Conference and host in-state rival North Carolina. With a bowl victory and conference MVP at quarterback, the Pirates are poised for great things. We challenge you to be, live, and give undaunted as part of the fan base at second to none. Purchase your East Carolina football season tickets today by calling 1-800-DIAL-ECU or visit ecupirates.com. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. 
It's the number one for everyone sales event going on now at Greenville Toyota. You've heard of 20% off at the mall and the big retail discount stores, but never before on Toyotas. Greenville Toyota announces up to 20% off MSRP on a huge selection of brand new Toyotas. Plus, get 0% financing on nine new Toyota models, all with the Greenville Toyota Advantage. And we need your trade, so we'll pay you up to 120% of book value, guaranteed. Don't miss the number one for everyone sales event with new Toyotas up to 20% off MSRP this month at Greenville Toyota. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Sarah Palin is a name synonymous with the modern conservative movement, and she wants to see Washington fundamentally reformed with candidates who stay true to their beliefs of smaller government, protecting life and furthering conservative principles. That's why it's no surprise that Sarah Palin is endorsing Taylor Griffin for Congress. Governor Palin knows America needs fighters like Taylor Griffin, who will not forget the patriots of eastern North Carolina whom he will serve. So please join with Sarah Palin in supporting Taylor Griffin for Congress. I'm Taylor Griffin, and I approve this message. And we're back at Boyd's Carpet in Winterville on Fire Tower Road. I'm standing here with Jason Boyd. Jason, beautiful, newly remodeled showroom here. Tell us about it. Well, Hank, as we go into our 20th year here, we remodeled our showroom. We've got things kind of refixed up nice for everybody because it is the spring here in 2014. We want everybody to come see us. Of course, you know, we're located here on Fire Tower Road. Our phone number is 321-7066. We'd like everybody to come see what's happening here at Boyd's Carpet. And you've even expanded your staff for the spring. T tell, talk about your new staff. Well, last year was one of our best years ever, and we expanded our uh, staff to make it uh, more suitable for all our customers because we're offering more than just carpet, our wood, our ceramic tile, our LVT, and we want everybody to make sure that we do our shop at home service so we got plenty of people to serve you. And tell us about some special financing offers you may have available. Yes, come see us again for our 12-month financing with GE Card Service. Or we're here at Boyd's Carpet uh, anytime here to serve you. Where were you? It was about 4.30. I'd come home early for our anniversary. Then the call came. It was the doctor with my results. The last thing I remember is hearing those three words, you're cancer-free. All across Eastern North Carolina, Vident Health Cancer Care Specialists and Navigators offer a team approach to detecting, treating, and beating the disease. Call Vident Health for Cancer Care. Unlock the best life has to offer for generations to come. Introducing the Legacy Membership exclusively at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. As a Legacy member, you'll not only enjoy all the benefits of an active, family-friendly lifestyle, your children and grandchildren will enjoy membership status as well. Belonging to Ironwood is remarkable. Sharing it with your entire family is even better. Become a Legacy member today, only at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. Golf at its finest, life at its fullest. By the way, uh, we mentioned um, our new uh, sponsor of Talk of the Town this morning, Pack Our Disposal. Uh, glad to have them back. But also, back for spring advertising, which they come back every year about this time, and we're very thankful that they do, Acre Station, we were just talking about, Acre Station Meat Farm. And uh, they are also sponsoring, if you go to greenvilleheadlines.com, our new website, there is an ad for Acre Station uh, on there and you know if you've never driven down there it's about a 40 minute drive from Greenville down to, uh, to Pinetown it's on Highway 32 between uh, between Washington and Plymouth it's really a kind of a nice fun drive down there to be honest with you sometimes when I go down there I kind of take a little detour on the way back and ride through Bath Creek which is mm -hmm. kind of cool but um, uh, that ain't real close but it's you know if you got time it's around to the kill. corner it's it's fun to yeah. I love the way I love that area down there it's beautiful but if you go to greenvilleheadlines.com, you can now find an ad for Acre Station, which you click on that ad, it takes you to their website, and they will actually send some of that great uh, uh, stuff that they sell, the uh, the sausage and bacon and the steaks and the pork chop. They'll send it to your house. That's awesome. So if you don't want to drive down there, you, you know, just 
Go on the website. Go to GreenvilleHeadlines.com. Click on there. It'll come right to your front door. So uh, Acre Station, back for spring advertising. And uh, I'm going to make a trip down there in the next week because it's time to get some of those steaks and pork chops that are grilling out good. Mm. Good stuff. And, of course, I will probably get some sausage, too. It's the best sausage I've ever had. Seriously. Acre Station, 834. All right. Uh, it's election day. Tom Lamprecht uh, back to do a little more analysis here in a couple of minutes. But first, uh, let's check news headlines from WITN. Here's Billy Weaver this morning. Thank you, Henry. It is currently 834, 59 degrees in Greenville. I'm Billy Weaver, and this is a look at your WITN news headlines. Polls are open for the May primary elections. There are a number of big races, including several sheriff seats. Both men on the ballot in Lenore County have more than 30 years of experience. Sheriff Chris Hill who was named sheriff after the retirement of the late Billy Smith in 2013, is facing off against Kinston Public Safety Manager Ronnie Ingram. Another sheriff's race we're watching, of course, is in Craven County. Four people vying for that role, Chip Hughes and Ernest Thomas, are the Republican candidates, both Eric Smith and incumbent Sheriff Jerry Monette, the Democratic primary ballot. Uh, Smith was a sergeant and a detective with a, a police department in the east and deputy sheriff for Craven and Onslow counties. Sheriff Monette has served as Craven County Sheriff for 20 years. Keep an eye on WITN and WITN.com for complete election day coverage. New information this morning about a local teen locked up on a murder charge. A 17-year-old charged with murdering a man in his front yard is the same one arrested last week for allegedly shooting a woman while trying to rob her. Derage Speed was arrested Monday and charged with murder. He's accused of killing 49-year-old Linwood James on April 24th outside of his Hookerton home. Greenville County Sheriff Lemmy Smith says Jones was shot while running away from an argument between the two men. He collapsed on the back steps of a home at 213 North 7th Street. Now, Speed was also arrested last week by Goldsboro police. They say he shot a woman on West New Hope Road on April 19th during an attempted armed robbery. In this case, he's charged with felony attempted robbery with a dangerous weapon and assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. He's being held in Greene County without bond. The death of a contractor at a local pulp plant has state and federal authorities investigating the fatal accident. The deadly accident happened at the Domtar pulp plant outside of Plymouth on Monday. Officials say a hydraulic line became pressurized and burst, killing a contractor and injuring an employee who worked for CBT Services Incorporated out of Tennessee. Labor Department spokesman Neil O'Brien says they believe the line was behind the worker and that it struck him when it burst. U.S. Marshals ended Operation Rising Tide in Craven County with 33 arrests, including the arrest of Robert Outlaw. Now, authorities say the 20-year-old was already on probation for manufacturing methamphetamines when officers searched his home and found an active meth lab. More charges against outlaw are likely after substances found at his home are analyzed. During the two-day operation, authorities searched 44 homes of people on probation and were even able to locate a suspect who fled Craven County to Alabama to take him into custody. And the explosion of a boat on the Crystal Coast has been ruled an accident. The 28-foot-long boat was ignited by a spark from a fuel leak. That's according to the Jacksonville Daily News, which reports North Carolina Wildlife Resource Officers believe, believe boaters did nothing wrong in the case. That explosion happened around 945 Saturday morning at the Moorhead City Yacht Basin. We know nearby witnesses got control of the fire with extinguishers. Both boaters were taken to a nearby hospital after the explosion, but no word yet on their recovery. It is currently 838, 59 degrees in Greenville. I'm Billy Weaver, and that's a look at your WITN News headlines. All Henry. right, Billy Weaver, thank you very much. And our news update this hour brought to you by Strawberries on 903. It's time, folks. Strawberries are at the peak right now, and it's time to get out there and pick some strawberries. May is already a uh, uh, strawberry season, and I'm telling you, uh, uh, I've already had some. We had some last night. We sprinkled a little sweet and low on them last night and had them uh, for dinner from uh, Strawberries on 903. A little whipped cream? Great. Uh, I didn't do the whipped cream, but I could have. 
and should have. <laughs> uh, come on out to Strawberries on 903. It's just four miles south of Winterville on uh, 903. It's a great family event. The kids love picking the strawberries and touring the farm animals. And uh, it's a whole family experience if you haven't been out there yet. Or you can come by, pick them yourself. Also, Mike and Steve have other seasonal produce available, including asparagus, hothouse tomatoes, cabbage, broccoli, lettuce, and more. There's even homemade ice cream out there. Great family event. Strawberries on 903. they got a picnic area. Area. And uh, Mike and Steve are always out there hanging out. They chat with you, answer any of your questions. You can't find better strawberries anywhere. Free parking. Come on out. Strawberries on 903. The hours uh, during the week, Monday to Friday, 8 to 6. Saturday, 8 to 4. And they're open Sunday afternoon, also 1 to 5. Located four miles south of Winterville. Very easy. Turn away from Winterville on 903 off Memorial and uh, you'll find strawberries on 903, and they are ripe for picking right now. You can't miss it. All right, it's election day. Tom Lamprick next. We're going to do a little election analysis for you. Who's going to win, and what are the tight races? We'll be right back and kind of preview tonight's wall-to-wall election coverage, which starts at 7 o'clock here on the radio. We'll be right back. You don't have to be a professional golfer to enjoy giving to a great cause. Come out and join us Friday, June 6th at the Ironwood Country Club for the 5th Annual Magatech Golf Tournament, presented by the Junior Women's Association of Greenville. All of the proceeds go directly towards providing support for families of the two Ron McDonald houses right here in Greenville. Visit our official website or like us on Facebook to find out how you can participate in the event that's both fun and rewarding. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Football fans, see the tradition, the excitement, the hard-hitting action this fall in Dowdy Piglin Stadium as the Pirates kick off their inaugural season in the American Athletic Conference and host in-state rival North Carolina. With a bowl victory and conference MVP at quarterback, the Pirates are poised for great things. We challenge you to be, live, and give undaunted as part of the fan base at second to none. Purchase your East Carolina football season tickets today by calling 1-800-DIAL-ECU or visit ecupirates.com. Our military, devastating defense cuts. Obamacare, a debacle. The Obama nightmare continues. To fight back, we need strong leadership. Congressman Walter Jones has always had the courage to fight for conservative principles. He stood up to the Washington insiders. He's fought for our military, and he's voted against Obamacare. Walter Jones, independent, conservative, our congressman. I'm Walter Jones, and I approve this ad. Yes, you can have it all. Quality flooring, expert assistance, free in-home estimate, professional installation. It's all here during the National Gold Tag Flooring Sale. And did we say lowest prices of the year? Dream it. Plan it. Live it. Today. Abbey Full Service Flooring, Fire Tower Road, Winterville. It's wholesale prices to the public here at our used car liquidation event at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. We're going to sell 100 used cars this month no matter how low we've got to go. Come choose from over 100 used cars at wholesale prices before we take them to the office. Used cars starting at $39.95 and payments as low as $99 a month. Get here before they're gone. It's the used car liquidation at wholesale prices here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on B. Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. 
Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. Talk of the Town brought to you in part by Seaboard Security Systems. You know, it only takes uh, seconds for a burglar to break in your home or office. Scotty McCreary yeah. should have called Bill Boone. Yeah. I'm telling you, Scotty had called Bill Boone. He would not have been laying f- face down with a gun to the back of his head yesterday. And I'm not making light of that, but, I mean, that's just crazy. But uh, if you act quickly, call Seaboard Security to protect your belongings. Seaboard Security is specialized in securing museums, banks, homes, and offices for over 50 years. And here's what I love about dealing with Seaboard. I've used them myself. I can endorse them. Bill Boone is one of the finest people that I know. And Seaboard Securities is, is, Seaboard Security, uh, is one of the uh, best companies in eastern North Carolina. They're local. You deal with them locally. Uh, if you need to talk to a local person to change your code or address billing issues, uh, Seaboard Security, top of the line security, offering top priority. And uh, here's how you find them. Go to SeaboardSecurity.com. Call my friend Bill Boone and get signed up. All right, let's go to the phones. It's quarter to nine. It's election day, and Tom Lamprecht has been out and about this morning. Tom will be in the studio with me tonight for a wall-to-wall election coverage starting at 7 o'clock here in the studio and with the North Carolina Network in Raleigh. Tom, uh, what's the latest out there? Are you hearing anything? Yeah, I just got off the phone with uh, Dave Davis, and uh, he says it's light voting across huh. the uh, county. And uh, he was, I, I think, a little surprised at that. He also wanted us to remind everybody that when you go to vote this morning, uh, and there's a little bit of confusion on this, but... They're going to ask you when you go in to vote if you have a uh, photo ID, a uh, state-issued photo ID, like a license. Now, you don't have to have it to vote, but uh, they're just trying to help folks out. If they don't have that photo ID, they're going to hand them a, uh, a paper that instructs, them how, instructs the voter how they can get a free photo ID for the uh, 2016 election. Mm-hmm. But overall, it sounds like it's uh, yeah. going well, but light. So don't be surprised if you're asked if you have an ID, but you actually don't have to show it this time. Correct. Yeah. That is correct. Right. You know, uh, it's interesting. Um, we got a story on GreenvilleHeadlines.com right now about uh, the uh, very strong turnout in the in the early voting uh, time. And, of course, Dave Davis was on with us yesterday, Tom. There was so much concern about uh, eliminating Sunday voting and right. um, and and the fact that they were starting a week later, but none of that turned out to be of any concern because we had uh, we had very high turnout for the early voting. But it's, so it's interesting to hear that it's starting light this morning. I wonder if that's just because it's still early and polls have only been open about an hour. I think that's part of it, and I think uh, you know, frankly. The- Folks go out and, and they do vote early, and they're going to adjust their schedule, whether it's uh, uh, they can vote on Sunday or not vote on Sunday, or whether there's uh, two or three weeks voting. They're going to adjust their schedule and, and get out of voting and accordingly. Uh, it, it's a little surprising, though, with uh, the, the hot race between uh, Walter Jones and Taylor Griffin. And uh, and the North Carolina Senate race and the Republican Party, yeah. I would I would have thought it have been a little stronger. Um, we got to go. Michael's already wrapping me up, and you're going to be with me tonight. But before we go, do you have any predictions for us? Well, I I, I would be surprised if uh, Taylor Griffin wins. I think Walter will win that. You know, there's an interesting on the Facebook page, uh, Ending Spending Action Fund, which uh, is Joe Ricketts organization. They were strong supporters of Taylor Griffin. And uh, if you go and read the comments, there's on that particular race, on the ending spending uh, action fund uh, between Taylor and Walter, there's 150 comments or so. And if, if that social media is any indication of how the vote's going to turn out, then I would say Walter's going to probably get about 60% of the vote. Where, where is this located now? It's a Facebook page. It's called Ending Spending Action Fund. Okay. And uh, they were the, they were the folks that got behind Taylor Griffin. So right. this is, in a sense, a Taylor Griffin supported uh, website organization. And uh, they've they've got a uh, 
uh, article up there about Sarah Palin's endorsement of Taylor Griffin, huh. and uh, then there's ab- about 150 comments from folks, mostly within the third congressional district, and okay. I would say uh, probably. Sixty uh, percent of the comments uh, are in favor of Walter Jones. So okay, very very quickly, does Tillis get forty percent today? Uh, I think uh, he's going to get somewhere around thirty-eight to thirty-nine percent. I don't think he's really. Quite make it. You I think, think so? You think it. you think Tillis is going to have a runoff? That's interesting. well, you know, if you looked at the uh, voting by public policy polling, and they got it right last uh, the last presidential election a week ago, they had Tillis at forty-six percent. Mm. Yesterday's new poll came out, and he was down to forty percent. And uh, Greg Brannon's numbers were up. And, I have uh, so no I have no confidence in public policy polling. They called me this past weekend, and it was a push poll. I mean, I, I think their credibility is out the window as far as I'm concerned. I have no, I have no respect for public policy polling. I just don't. Well, I would, so I, I would take it then that you think Tillis will get 40%. I, I don't know. No, it's not that. It's just that I don't believe anything public policy polling says. Well, they did get a, they, they had the best record, believe it or not, in the last presidential yeah. election. I know they lean left. I agree yeah. with you. That, with their, but I'm that. telling you, they did a push poll on me last weekend. They were trying to get me to say that I disagreed with the handling uh, that the governor was handling. They really were coming after McCrory in this push poll that they're doing on the coal ash spill and all that. Right. Tom, I'll see you tonight at 7. Okay. All Sounds right. Good. We'll be back. Where were you? It was about 4.30. I'd come home early for our anniversary. Then the call came. It was the doctor with my results. The last thing I remember is hearing those three words, you're cancer free. All across Eastern North Carolina, Vident Health Cancer Care Specialists and Navigators offer a team approach to detecting, treating, and beating the disease. Call Vident Health for Cancer Care. Our military, devastating defense cuts. Obamacare, a debacle. The Obama nightmare continues. To fight back, we need strong leadership. Congressman Walter Jones has always had the courage to fight for conservative principles. He stood up to the Washington insiders. He's fought for our military, and he's voted against Obamacare. Walter Jones, independent, conservative, our congressman. I'm Walter Jones, and I approve this ad. Football fans, see the tradition, the excitement, the hard-hitting action this fall in Dowdy Piglin Stadium as the Pirates kick off their inaugural season in the American Athletic Conference and host in-state rival North Carolina. With a bowl victory and conference MVP at quarterback, the Pirates are poised for great things. We challenge you to be, live, and give undaunted as part of the fan base at second to none. Purchase your East Carolina football season tickets today by calling 1-800-DIAL-ECU or visit ecupirates.com. At the law firm of Hardy & Hardy, we don't simply take cases. We take your case personally. I've been in several car accidents, and each time I've turned to Hardy & Hardy for help. They are honest, hardworking, and dependable. I've been satisfied with the conclusion of each case, and I would recommend Wayne and Charles Hardy to my family and friends. You matter to us. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Sarah Palin is a name synonymous with the modern conservative movement, and she wants to see Washington fundamentally reformed with candidates who stay true to their beliefs of smaller government, protecting life, and furthering conservative principles. That's why it's no surprise that Sarah Palin is endorsing Taylor Griffin for Congress. Governor Palin knows America needs fighters like Taylor Griffin, who will not forget the patriots of eastern North Carolina whom he will serve. So please join with Sarah Palin in supporting Taylor Griffin for Congress. I'm Taylor Griffin, and I approve this message. Where were you? It was about 4.30. I'd come home early for our anniversary. Then the call came. It was the doctor with my results. The last thing I remember is hearing those three words, you're cancer free. All across Eastern North Carolina, Vident Health Cancer Care Specialists and Navigators offer a team approach to detecting, treating, and beating the disease. Call Vident Health for Cancer Care. 
When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on Beast Oaks Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. It's wholesale prices to the public here at our used car liquidation event at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. We're going to sell 100 used cars this month no matter how low we've got to go. Come choose from over 100 used cars at wholesale prices before we take them to the auction. Used cars starting at $39.95 and payments as low as $99 a month. Get here before they're gone. It's the used car liquidation at wholesale prices here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. All right, we've got breaking news uh, in uh, to the uh, to our studios here. We've just learned from the Greenville Police Department that former Pitt County Sheriff Mac Manning has been arrested this morning. Shortly after 10 a.m. on May 5th, which would have been yesterday, Greenville Police Detectives received a call from a female telling officers her husband had been in a verbal dispute with her. At some point during the altercation, the victim stated her husband slapped her in the hand, resulting in visible bruises. Uh, upon further investigation, it was determined... I'm reading, by the way, from the, uh, uh, from the press release from Greenville PD. Upon further investigation, it was determined the suspect in the case was former Pitt County Sheriff Mac Manning. Detectives presented the facts of the case to the district attorney who determined the case warranted prosecution. Manning has turned himself in at the Pitt County Detention Center just moments ago. We'll continue to follow that. Everybody have a great day. Where were you? It was about 4.30. I'd come home early for our anniversary. Then the call came. It was the doctor with my results. The last thing I remember is hearing those three words. You're cancer free. All across Eastern North Carolina, Vident Health Cancer Care Specialists and Navigators offer a team approach to detecting, treating, and beating the disease. Call Vident Health for Cancer Care. Our military, devastating defense cuts. Obamacare, a debacle. The Obama nightmare continues. To fight back, we need strong leadership. Congressman Walter Jones has always had the courage to fight for conservative principles. He stood up to the Washington insiders. He's fought for our military, and he's voted against Obamacare. Walter Jones, independent, conservative, our congressman. I'm Walter Jones, and I approve this ad. be a professional golfer to enjoy giving to a great cause. Come out and join us Friday, June 6th at the Ironwood Country Club for the 5th Annual Mac Attack Golf Tournament, presented by the Junior Women's Association of Greenville. All of the proceeds go directly towards providing support for families of the two Ron McDonald houses right here in Greenville. Visit our official website or like us on Facebook 
to find out how you can participate in the event that's both fun and rewarding. And we're back at Boyd's Carpet in Winterville on Fire Tower Road. I'm standing here with Jason Boyd. Jason, beautiful newly remodeled showroom here. Tell us about it. Well, Hank, as we go into our 20th year here, we remodeled our showroom. We've got things kind of refixed up nice for everybody because it is the spring here in 2014. We want everybody to come see us. Of course, you know, we're located here on Fire Tower Road. Our phone number is 321-7066. We'd like everybody to come see what's happening here at Boyd's Carpet. And you've even expanded your staff for the spring. T tell, talk about your new staff. Well, last year was one of our best years ever, and we expanded our uh, staff to make it uh, more suitable for all our customers because we're offering more than just carpet, our wood, our ceramic tile, our LVT, and we want everybody to make sure that we do our shop at home service so we got plenty of people to serve you. And tell us about some special financing offers you may have available. Yes, come see us again for our 12-month financing with GE Card Service. So we're here at Boyd's Carpet uh, anytime here to serve you. Football fans, see the tradition, the excitement, the hard-hitting action this fall in Dowdy Piglin Stadium as the Pirates kick off their inaugural season in the American Athletic Conference and host in-state rival North Carolina. With a bowl victory and conference MVP at quarterback, the Pirates are poised for great things. We challenge you to be, live, and give undaunted as part of the fan base at second to none. Purchase your East Carolina football season tickets today by calling 1-800-DIAL-ECU or visit ecupirates.com. It's wholesale prices to the public here at our used car liquidation event at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. We're going to sell 100 used cars this month no matter how low we've got to go. Come choose from over 100 used cars at wholesale prices before we take them to the auction. Used cars starting at $39.95 and payments as low as $99 a month. Get here before they're gone. It's the used car liquidation at wholesale prices here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. We'll